Hey guys, um, welcome to the channel. It's Crypto Pip here. I just um, wanted to kind of go over um, one of the tools that I use in the DeFi space um, just to keep track of uh, my portfolio and also um, to assist with a bit of security um, and DeBank. Um, I find are very, very useful. Um, so what you can do with these guys, let me just give you a bit of an introduction. Um, they're a portal, they say they're a portal to the brave new world of decentralized finance, which is great. Um, and as you can see, you can track your full portfolio through 198 DeFi protocols on seven chains. Um, and as you can see, we've got all of the chains here, um, Ethereum, Binance, Dai, Polygon, Phantom, Oak Chain, and Hexco. Um, if we go down, you they'll you know find the best swap prices across twenty four leading dexes and aggregators, which is great. So you always when you're swapping the coins, obviously, um, initially when I first got into crypto, I was using um, Uniswap for a lot. It was only really Uniswap. Um, and pancake swap, but there are others. There are some other chains across various networks that are a lot slightly cheaper um, than the main two. So this is quite good to um, use to swap some tokens. Um, and all you do is you go to the tab on the left hand side. We'll go. There we go. Token swap, and you put in. Um, you know what you want and it gives you the best price you can see the gas fees here um to swap are all quite different um but yeah and any swap that you do you also it logs your history on the platform um as to any swaps that you've made um you can also track it there we go so you can explore the data in real time so i've never had any issues with this um Every time I've updated something or changed something within my MetaMask wallet, um, it shows in real time, which is fantastic here. Um, we can go over to their Medium. They've obviously got the Twitter. Um, and I suggest, you know, following the Twitter channel um, just to keep track with what they're about and what they're doing and if they've got any changes. If you do decide to use um, the bank itself, um, but yeah, obviously, I'm not a financial advisor, and this is not financial advice. It's just my own personal opinion uh, in regards to their project. Now, they've also got the DeFi list. So as you can see, we've got all chains here, and it just shows you um, the TVL um, of, you know, some just some interesting information and statistics. As you can see, um, you've got how many user deposits, the TVL. Um, and in the last 24 hours, um, the use case for it, um, as you can see, if we go to the TVL, we can see Curve is on top, followed by Aave, Compound, and then Pancake Swap um, for the total amount of value locked in. Um, and you know, you've got new chains that are creeping up. Sushi Swap is creeping up. Quick Swap is also creeping up as well. Um, and another interesting factor is obviously. Um, how many people are using each of these protocols and as you can see in the last 24 hours um pancake swap has had what 200 just over 200,000 users the closest rival um is uniswap with 33,000 so it's absolutely ridiculous um how much volume actually goes through um pancake swap itself so this is also interesting to use, um, definitely. They've also got their gross value locked in, so their ranking system. And it shows here across all chains, you know, same kind of information. Um, you know, I normally use the Binance Smart Chain, so if we go there, they've got about 9 billion locked into the chain. Um, and Pancake Swap again stands out, Venus is next. And Walt Finance, which is uh, new, I'm quite in it. I use them quite a bit. And they're also up there. Oh, I've never heard of Ellipus. I might have to um, check these guys out and see 
you know what they're about that could be another video um worth doing and then obviously you've got polygon which is quite new and you know what's most popular in there phantom is also something i'm quite aware of it shows how much is locked in here as well we've got spooky finance spooky swap with a lot in there um which is also probably the which is the number one um dex on the phantom network so yeah this is quite good but what security wise what i find this is a good use case for is um here so if we go to our profile and on your profile it shows you your assets across all of the different um chains which is fantastic so you can keep track of what's what but most importantly um for security purposes um i use this for to keep track of my permissions and approvals so as you can see um on ethereum we've got i've only got two approvals here okay if we go over to the phantom network um i've got no approvals because i've not dabbled um, on their network to actually do anything yet um that will come um in near time the next is the polygon network now with the polygon network i've used them a few times and as you can see there's a few projects approvals um that i have um given to stuff on the polygon network now if you if we have a look here so when you're going onto a new site and you connect your metamask wallet it also asks you obviously to approve the connection from that site to metamask but what happens uh in between that is it's this infinite so in in a previous previous what's happened is when some platforms rug pull um you know when they remove the funds from the account and steal everybody's money um there were you know they have the ability as you've previously authorized in, in an infinite amount of spend um by connecting to that project um it's been done in the past where they have actually pulled the money from their platform and then gone into anyone who's approved an infinite amount of spend on their platform they've also pulled the coins from your from your metamask wallet as well as you've given an infinite approval so they can literally take as much as they want so in order to counteract this um i believe every at least every week especially if you're quite active in a DeFi space that you should go through and just do some maintenance on your crypto portfolio and you know this is one of the things i recommend doing so as you can see here we've got an approval for an unknown project they've got an infinite amount of spend and it says there's no risk exposure here which is great but i still you know um let's switch over to the matic network so for use case purposes so if we switch to the matic network um we'll have a look we'll go to this project and all you do is you find this project here you go to decline okay and the, the transaction fee is very small um and then you just click confirm so we grant it permission do you grant this permission yes you do um and you hit confirm and it deletes that infinite approval okay from your metamask wallet so that connection with this contract address now no longer exists so if in future they was attempting in any way to to access and the coins that are in your wallet they no longer no longer can do that because you have severed that connection okay um you also can go over to the binance smart chain and do the same thing so if we go to here let me just switch over to binance yeah pa pancake are asking um so if we go over to um the binance smart chain i've uh, you know i've got loads of approvals on here um and you can see we've got a few coins that we've got so 
I went through the other day and done some maintenance with this, um, which was fantastic. But if we, for example, here, uh, DC H. So we've got no risk exposure. Everything is zero, which is fantastic. And that's what you want to see. Um, so let's go still. Okay. Unknown projects come up still. And I don't use that project. I used it in the past. I don't want that infinite connection with that project anymore. Okay. So as you can see, the fees on BNB are slightly higher. Um, and also to sever that connection. Um, this one's going to cost me 14 pence, but it's worthwhile in the long term so as you can see um hit that it's now buffering and then soon enough um that connection will be severed so yeah guys this is just a, a video i wanted to do just to show you some things that i do to maintain uh, a safe uh, portfolio um okay and d bank um is the, my choosing at the moment there's loads of these out there of different projects but this is the one i find that the use case for it is quite easy um to also track your 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 uh, what you're invested in but to also keep your account your metamask account secure so yeah but anyway you guys uh, thanks for watching the video and if you do like the video itself don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel thank you bye bye